So what, what's one of your favorite memories from the North Saskatchewan River? Well, you can pick more than one if you like. Okay. Well, my dad used to fish along the river using the green net and this sort of thing. And I knew so I went down to the river and see him get all these fish in. But the, one of the favorite ones actually was when I was, well, when I was older, after I was married and that. And that, that one was uh, with my Uncle Lewis. And uh, I was fishing there with uh, my husband at the time. And uh, the husband of one of my girl cousins because Uncle Nels wanted to go fishing. And anyway, we were peaceful fishing there. And then my aunt and one of my other cousin-in-laws and the young man's wife had decided that they had work that they wanted my Uncle Nels and this other young man to go and do. So they kind of came along the top of the river bank and they were calling and calling. And my uncle Neil said, if we sit very quiet and don't say a word, they won't notice us here and they will go away. So that's what we did. The poor man, so she must be quite annoyed with us at the time. But uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite. It was just so much fun with my uncle. But, yeah, uh, yeah I, I did quite a bit of fishing here with my brother, my nephews, my, my, my sons. Uh, fish along the North Saskatchewan River. Then it's, we've had wiener roasts along the river. There was a lot of memories along that river. My favorite memory is uh, going hunting, usually. Uh, my family has a creek down by Jim Smith, and we call it Aonan Creek. And we used to go hunting there all the time. Uh, the buffalo are a, uh, and, like, elk. Oh, oh, moose would oh, travel oh, through there and go through our creek for water or whatever. Um, we used to go hunting there, and now, now I'm afraid to go hunting there because all that oil went through our creek. We used to use that for like <laughs> drums and stuff, but now we don't really go hunting there anymore. Oh, uh, well, we used to go hunting for like for our uh, for our, uh, our, uh, our hide. I've grown up and lived here all my life, so I mean the North Saskatchewan River has always been a special place. Uh, you know, whether it's hanging out uh, down the river bank by the old museum, and at one point it was still an active fire hall as well. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we'd be down there during the winter. Of course, the winter festival used to always take place right on the river, and you know, so those are those are the special things that we think about with the river, and some of the things that we've arguably just taken for granted. And since the oil spill this summer, how do you think that might be affected? Like, what do you think, see the future as? Well, uh, it's not going to be as desirable, as enticing, as inviting. And more likely than not that they will find other choices of place to go because of the, the oil spill. It's, uh, it's not a pretty sight. And actually, during warm days, you can actually smell some of the effects of it. And it's not pleasant. So I imagine some, sometimes we'll be looking at other alternatives. Fishing and minerals, whatever. Yeah, okay. So it's quite impactful. Okay, um, is there anything else you wanted? Well, I would be very concerned about the fish that would be dying in there. Any other sort of life that has anything to do with drinking the river water, be it deer or be it just a little bug. Because the fish need to have the insects and things. And uh, also, I'm concerned about what the what the fish are consuming. If there's poisons in the water, it's going to make it very unhealthy for us human beings because everything is linked together. 
I'm also worried about the, the groundwater, that the wells that are near the river might be contaminated by these two things that are in the water. I think it's a very terrible thing that's happened to our river, and I'm very concerned about it. Post oil spill, I guess for myself being a city councilor, I mean we we went through a pretty trying summer. Uh, you know when this when the spill was announced, and, and we were under significant pressure to try and figure out where our water source is going to come from. So you know it was a few sleepless nights, and you'd have some phone calls from people and concerns, and you know overall, uh, I mean we got through it, and you know but thinking now moving forward. Um, it's disappointing, I mean, obviously, and, and there is concerns because of the oil that is still accumulating, be it on the shores, and, you know, how long is it going to take for that to dissipate, if it actually ever will. And so that is a concern, and obviously there was some loss of wildlife and, and that sort of thing. But, you know, um, I, you know, again, it was, it was a chance for us to just kind of take a step back and, and think, you know what, this, we, we can't take it for granted, and we need to have some protections in place. The, the alcohol goes through our creek and there's a, a little bit of oil in our creek and we drink that and it goes through our system, right? And it's, and it's bad meat, right? yeah. so it's, it's kind of spoiled already. Yeah. And the hide would be spoiled inside. Like a, a log with like really cheap oil. Yeah, there's some along, along uh, the river. I didn't see any big wildlife yet. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think, you know, thoughts are, you always go back and you think, what happened? What, what allowed this to happen? So there is a certain bit of, there's a bit of anger, um, you know, and, and disappointment on the fact that, you know, our, our water has been compromised by an outside source. So, you know, there is some anger in, in that. Uh, moving forward um, as a city and as a city councillor and as you know as somebody who's you know we're in the, the midst of a civic election as well yeah. it certainly makes things interesting but um, you know we're we have to work with with our agencies that uh, you know that license our water treatment plant and, and the environment uh, the Ministry of Environment you know these are important people that we have to sit down with and, and have some assurances that this isn't going to happen again um, and you know, and then that we're, we're going to remain protected and, and continue to be able to supply water to our residents. Well, I hope the scientists can figure some way to save our river. And to save all the animals, including the human animals, and all the tourists.